Alright, so this is going to be a continuation uh, of the tutorial. So, <clears throat> I had mentioned, well, this is going to be boring drilling it out. Well, it turns out that the, uh, the cast iron on here is really, really strong. And it's hard to get this drill bit actually going and kind of, you know, inside because of the oblongness that we, uh, you know, had noticed at first. So what I instead did is I measured up some of these specialized bits. Um, these come in handy, but they are not inexpensive, unfortunately. There's, I've never really found, like, a, you know, truly affordable resource for these guys. Um, so they cost a bit. They come in a bunch of different shapes, but they're super, super helpful when you're trying to get through here. So I basically oiled these guys and passed them through. And the following thing that I did is I took one of the studs, right, and I'm trying to fit it in. And we're much, much closer than we were before. So what we're going to have to do is my plan is to open these guys up so they accept the studs. And the studs only, like basically no room at all. And then from there, test it on the manifold. Um, you know, I may be able to test like one half or the other and, you know, make sure my spacing's right. But we're going to open it up a little bit wider after that, um, just to kind of get an idea because we don't want to say, open this hole up and it be floating in, you know, say in an upwards direction, open this hole up and floating in a downwards direction. Now these are going to be sitting right against each other like this with a big gap. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. So it's going to take some time to plan it out, but it'll be worth it in the end. So uh, any questions, just let me know. But uh, yeah, uh, well, I think a final pass with this drill bit is definitely going to help. I actually may be able to do it now, now that it's actually, you know, pretty much started in there. Uh, actually, let me give that a try just to see. I think it'll be worth doing it because then this way, a drill bit's going to give you a uh, perfectly round hole typically. Whereas the uh, other bits, the burr bits, those are not uh, guaranteed to come out round every single time. So let me just put a little oil on this guy here. And let's see if this will actually make a clean pass through. Ooh, smoky. All right, so that actually cleared through. So in theory, a stud may fit in here. It might need to be opened up a tiny bit more. Ooh, just slightly, just slightly. So once we open that up a tiny bit more, then uh, you know we'll, we're going to start opening up the rest, and we'll have a better idea as far as what it'll take to make that hole nice and round and even. So we have uh, you know a good setup on the manifold. This is not something you want to do too quick. Um, you want it to sit on there perfect. So uh, hope this helps you guys out, but. Uh, this will be the process to, to get this done. If your holes are already circled, uh, or, you know, say not oblong, or were never drilled out a little bit further, you may be able to get away with just using a drill bit versus having to use burrs with a combination of a drill bit back to burrs. Um, the oblong thing is really what uh, apparently screws you up. So, uh, good luck, guys. And, uh, you know, if you, uh, if you feel you're not up to the task, you know, go to your local performance shop, and I'm sure they'd have no problem doing this for you. All right, thanks.